Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are 10 friends. Uh, they participated in a quiz that had 20 questions. The questions were numbered 1 to 20 and these people had roll numbers 1 to 10 in alphabetical order. So Amar has roll number of 2, Bharat has uh, Amar has 1, Bharat has 2, Charan has 3 and so on till roll number 10. Okay, and uh, the quiz was of a buzzer round and each question was answered correctly by only one person. And this table gives the number of questions answered by these persons. And some information is presented to us that 5 and 6 were answered by the same person, 2 and 9 by the same person, these by the same person and so on. Okay. Uh, now, if you read these statements, the only information that we can directly fill is Amar answered 1 and 12 but not 3. So, 1 and 12 we will fill here but not 3. So, that means it can be anything else. Okay. Gurdeep neither answered negative thing. Roll number of the person who answered question 9 is 8 more than the roll number of the person who answered question 18. So, we have two possibilities. Right. So, let us say 18 is answered by 1. Then question 9 will be answered by roll number 9. Or it could be by 2 and 10. Okay, so two possibilities given to us. Now, one thing if you see this statement and this statement, right, because it is talking about question 18. So let us utilize this. It says the roll number of the person who answered question 17 is one less than the sum of the roll numbers of the persons who answered question 16 and question 18. So let us assume this case that question 18 was answered by A that is roll number 1 and question 9 was answered by roll number 9. Okay, so let us assume this. Now if you see this, the roll number of the person who answered question 17 is one less than the sum of the roll numbers of the persons who answered question 16 and 18. So what does it mean? Let us say the number of roll number of the person who answered question 16 is x. Okay. So let us say that 16 was answered by x. Then it says that question number 17 will be answered by. So 18 is answered by 1. So we have assumed that 18 is answered by 1. So it is saying that question number 17 will be answered by x plus 1 minus 1 that is 17 should also be answered by x isn't it now if you look at this statement then it says 15 16 and 20 were answered by same person if we see the maximum number of correct answers for any person is 3 so how can we have 16 and 17 answered by the same person so the logic that we were using we were assuming this one so this case fails here so we will accept the second case. So this means that 18 is answered by roll number 2 and 9 is answered by roll number 10. Okay. Now if this is 2, so 17 should be x plus 1. Question number 17 will be answered by x plus 1. So suppose x is the roll number of person who answers question 16, this will be x plus 1. Now let us see that, uh, let's revisit this statement. It says that question 10, 11, 12, 13 were answered by same person, 15, 16, 20 were answered by same person. So we have to figure out two people who answered three questions. Now Amar, Ch Charan and Farhan answered three questions each. Okay. Now Amar we have already filled two answers. So Amar cannot be that person. Okay. So these two sets of people are Charan or Farhan these two people okay and then if we read one more statement the next statement it says bharat hina and charan answered three consecutive questions in that order so bharat we know is 18 right so bharat is 18 hina will be 19 and charan will be 20 so hina 19 charan 20 now we are given that 15 16 18 15 16 20 were answered by same person so that means this is charan and this is Farhan. Okay. So we can fill 15, 16, 20 for Charan and 10, 11, 13 for Farhan. 10, 11 and 13 for Farhan. Okay. So this is also done. Now we know this value of X wala funda. So 16 was answered by roll number 3. So 17 will be answered by roll number 4. So this is also done. Okay. 
all right so we have used this statement we have used this statement uh, this we have to figure out that will be an elimination case uh, question number 9 also has been done 18 has been done okay next if we see roll number of the person 17 16 18 all this has been done last is the difference between the question number answered by Ishmeet is 10, right? So 10 the difference, what are the possible values? 1, 11 is not possible, 1 is filled, 2, 12 is not possible, 3, 13 is not possible. Uh, then we have 4, 14, 4, 14 is a possibility, okay? 5, 15 is not possible, 6, 16 not possible, 7, 17 not possible, 8, 18 not possible, 9, 19 not possible. So the only possibility that we hit here is 4 and 14. So Ishmeet answered 4 and 14. Okay. So uh, now we are left with just a few values and some statements given to us. Now those values that are left are 1, uh, 2 is left, 3 is left. Then we have... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is done here, 5 is not filled yet, 6 is also not filled, 7, 8 and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so all values have been filled. So 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 are left with us. Okay. Now, if we read this statement again, it says 5 and 6 were answered by the same person, 2 and 9 were answered by the same person. So, 9 we already know. So, we can fill 2 also. Now, 5 and 6 will be answered by the same person. Okay. Now, let us see for Amar, one of the values is left. So, 5 and 6 cannot be Amar. Bharat, we have already filled all the values. Okay. Charan, we have filled. Dhvani, one of the values is filled. So, it cannot be Dhvani. Ekta could be possible person. Right. Farhan, we have filled all the values. Gurdeep has answered only one question. So, that person cannot be the one. Right. Hina also answered one that we have filled. Ishmeet Joseph has been filled. So, the only person that could answer these two questions is Ekta. So, Ekta answered 5 and 6. So, another value that has been filled. Okay. Now, Ekta has answered 5 and 6. So, we can uh, remove Ekta also. We have 3, 7 and 8 left with us. Okay, 3, 7 and 8. Uh, Gurdeep neither answered 3 nor 8. So, Gurdeep cannot answer 3 or 8. Gurdeep will answer question number 7. So, this is also filled. Now, we have to fill one value in Amar, one value in Dhani. Okay, so if we see this, Amar answered 1 and 12 but not 3. So, Amar cannot answer 3. Amar will answer 8 and Dhani will answer 3. So, this is how we will be able to fill all the values uh, that are asked in this, right? So, uh, you can just re-verify also all information uh, by matching these conditions. So, this has been filled. What is the maximum sum of the question numbers answered by a person? So, maximum sum will obviously this. So, 35 plus 16, that is 51. Okay. Next question is, what is the difference between the roll numbers of those who answered questions 3 and 8? Question 3 was answered by D and question 8 was answered by A. So, difference of roll numbers is 3. Right. So, that was answered by roll number 4 and 1. Who answered question number 7? So, Gurdeep answered question number 7. And who among the following did not answer two consecutive questions, right? So, Ekta has answered 5 and 6, not the right answer. Farhan has answered 10 and 11, not the right answer. Chetan answered 15 and 16. So, the answer is Amar. Amar, ans Amar did not answer any of the two consecutive questions. So, this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved this set. So, please do like the video.